see these new Uber Air taxis? Uber Air taxis? You what? can just take an Uber helicopter. It's going to launch soon. Isn't this crazy? Uber helicopter? Yeah, like if you don't want to, you know, drive to the country, you just take a 20-minute helicopter. That's actually pretty dope. I mean, they got to they obviously guarantee the safety of it. They, what's well, happened? Babe, it's fine. Um, Let me find this. What, yeah, okay, so what did Elon Musk say? And who was that? Was that Mike Birbiglia? Who was that? <laughs> in, in, in the video. Uh, so pretty much um, the, the setup for Elon Musk's statement is that all these robots are proving that there'll be no truck drivers. There'll be no need for factory workers. Pretty much there'll be no low-level level jobs or even restaurant workers. So then how are people supposed to listen to the podcast? We'll have no podcast listeners if there's no truck drivers, factory workers, or, or, or waiters and waitresses. That's the audience. Well, that's, that's what Elon I'll Musk... I'll kill Elon Musk if he gets... <laughs> a, if Elon Musk gets in the way of the Christians, I swear to God, I will hire John Alight and we will beat his face in with a signed autograph bat. We will beat that motherfucker's face in if he gets in the way of our audience because we know who you are, we know who our audience is, and we know most of you guys work at Denny's, and we will protect you. Shout out, Denny's. Shout out, Denny's. Largest jobs will be automated over the coming decade. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. These are not uh, things that I think that I wish would happen. These are think, simply things that I think probably will happen. Instead of people walking up and down the aisles so of a traditional grocery, grocery store stores. to pick up items, okay. that's a these store little store. devices move more than a million items every day between them. Instead of trying to build machines that fit into a world designed for humans, this entire facility, the size of seven football fields, is custom built to make this as efficient as possible. Compounding this is the rising cost of living. In Japan, nearly half they're of building... all unmarried adults. Do you think then that this coincides with COVID and a pandemic? Do you think they're trying to wipe people off the planet to make room for this? Honestly, man. No, not wipe them off the planet. They're trying to put them in their little hamster wheel while the real shit's being done. So that's why we're like, let, let, we'll take freedoms away from you little by little by little, make you do this, this, and this, and this, because this is what we need to get off the ground. Yeah, they want to make us grateful just to go outside again. And then we won't realize outside is like the robots. He just said, we don't build this facility for humans. We build it for robots and humans operate in it. But then who, but who's eating the food then? We need to eat the food. After a while, what does it even mean to feed us? Yeah, why do you even need to? So you think, <laughs> I mean, yeah, why can't a thousand humans just live on the planet and have everything they want and just the robots do their thing? It'll be the top thousand richest humans. Listen, dude, I'll do comedy shows is. for them if they want to keep me alive. <laughs> if you want to keep me alive and keep my family alive, I'd love to do shows for you. I'll do them for cheap too. I'll get you can get me on the cheap. You know, I got a new manager, but so he may he, he may want a little bit more, but he, I will tell him not to get greedy. You know. But I this tripped me out because I was I was smacked up and I was thinking all these UFOs, all this alien shit. What if it's just they built an AI rocket ship? <laughs> what do you think of that? You like that? What do you think of that? 